Russian ships hurriedly left the port of Kaspisk after a Ukrainian drone attack earlier this week. At the time of the strike on the port, the Russian Caspian fleet grouping was stationed there almost in full strength. This is what OSINT analysts of the Cyber Borosno project wrote after analyzing satellite images taken before and after the attack. Before the attack, there were patrol ships capable of carrying caliber missiles, small artillery ships, small missile ships that can also launch calibers and a port missile boat in the said port. In addition to the main warships, up to two dozen other small class vessels were stationed in the harbour. An image dated November the 7th shows that all large ships are missing from the port except for the Stupinets missile boat. The Ukrainian drone attack demonstrated that none of the means of launching long-range Russian weapons with the help of which the Russian Federation strikes Ukraine is safe anymore and can be destroyed at any moment, experts stressed. This strike showed that from now on, no means of launching long-range weapons of the Russian Federation, which was used against Ukraine, is not safe and is under constant threat of destruction. Recall for the first time, the defense intelligence of Ukraine's kamikaze drones hit enemy ships in the Caspian Sea. At least two vessels, missile ships Tatarstan and Dagestan, were damaged in the attack and possibly also several small Project 21631 ships. Sources said, that the targeted fleet was involved in strikes against Ukraine and the 177th Marine Regiment stationed there was deployed in combat in Kherson and Zaporizhia oblasts. While Russian authorities claimed to have intercepted a single drone in the skies, a video shared on social media appears to show another drone hitting its target, resulting in a large explosion. The incident took place roughly 15 kilometers from a local airport. The MASH news channel claims identifying the drone as a Ukrainian A-22 Flying Fox drone. The nearby Makachkala airport has suspended operations for an indefinite period due to the incident, local authorities said. Ukraine has kept up a persistent campaign of targeting Russia's high-value assets inside Russian territory and in Moscow-controlled parts of Ukraine, homing in on air and naval bases, typically with long-range explosive drones. Kyiv has managed this, despite not being allowed to use long-range Western weapons to strike deep inside internationally recognized Russian territory and attacks, typically focus on Russia's Black Sea Fleet, partly based in the Crimean port city of Sevastopol. Baikova, Valentina and Cherednik Tatyana are pensioners from the Kursk region, abandoned by the Russian authorities. Ukrainian soldiers evacuated the women to Sudza. Their villages were bombed by the Russians. 
They say if it were not for the Ukrainian armed forces, they would have died of hunger. It was the Ukrainian side that provided water and food, reports Freedom Media Outlet. Cherednik Tatyana Sergeyevna says that she currently lives in a boarding school in Sudza, where she was taken by Ukrainian soldiers to save her from shelling. We are alive, but our village is gone. We are now in Sudza, in a boarding school. The Ukrainians took us out, for which we are very grateful. When everything is over, I will call you back, Tatyana Sergeyevna says in a video message. Another resident of the Kursk region, Valentina Vasilyevna Baikova, tells us that her native village of Lebedevka was destroyed by Russian troops. The houses were destroyed. She cannot return there. She is looking for her son to take her from the boarding school where she was taken by the Ukrainian military. Son, Maxim, Olga, grandchildren, Nikita and Sachka, please ask for a green corridor. We have nowhere to live in Lebedevka. The village was bombed by our own Russian troops, thanks to the Ukrainian military who supported us for three months and we did not die of hunger. Now I am in a boarding school in Sudza. We were placed here temporarily. And then where? We cannot return to Lebedevka. And at such an age, starting from scratch, is very difficult. Please contact the Russian government, Putin. Let him remember about the Kursk region, that there are many people here at the border. Why did everyone decide that we went missing? Please contact the governor of the Kursk region. Make a statement to him. What is happening to the people? What are they doing here to us? Valentina Vasilyevna laments. She also noted that she was able to survive in such conditions only thanks to the Ukrainian military. Thanks to the Ukrainians. They brought us humanitarian aid and water, absolutely everything. That's why we survived. Thanks to them, I am here before you. Everyone, please ask for a green corridor so that we can be taken out of here. We have nowhere to live here because Russian troops have bombed everything, emphasized a resident of Lebedivka, which was destroyed by the Russian troops, Freedom reports. Let us recall that the project Unnecessary to Putin was created to show life in the frontline Kursk region, which the Russian authorities abandoned without support, not providing residents with the opportunity to evacuate and continuing to shell the civilian population. Но деревни нашей нет, так что не переживай за нас. Мы сейчас в Суджи, в интернате, вывезли нас, украинцы. Спасибо им большое. Негде, все тут разбомбили абсолютно наши российские войска. Все, спасибо.